Is it pronounced quinoa or quinoa? Did no of Ark brought this to his ship as a grain? Or it was simply that? Mother Earth created a seed that will be the ultimate food for mankind. Yes, it's quinoa. And I have a lot of things to say about this. So, let's kill one then. For this simple quinoa salad recipe, we are going to use romaine lettuce, tomato, red onion, and organic white quinoa. All you have to remember is two parts of water to one of quinoa. We are going to start to cook by turning on our rice cooker. While that is cooking, let's chop the romaine lettuce in a general size like this. Depending on the size of your tomato or how many wedges you want, cut it quarter into two pieces or more. Always making sure to cut it through the part where the stem was. The goal here is to keep the tomato jelly and the seeds in their little pockets. When selecting onions in the store, be sure to choose the onions that they are even in color and the outside the skin is dry. Avoid choosing the onion with dark spots or damage the skin. When you store your onions, be sure to put them in the fridge. Let's start by adding a touch of olive oil. Home salad dressing is simple to make and it comes together in minutes. Use the one ratio of balsamic vinegar versus 3 to olive oil and a touch of your fancy salt and black pepper. It tastes delicious and it helps to avoid preservatives in store-bought dressings. Homemade salad dressing is easily customizable to your own tastes. To know quinoa is cooked, the little white germy on the quinoa is going to pop and wrap it around its seed. Let's turn it off the rice cooker to stop the cooking process. Then fluff it with a spoon and let it cool it around 5 to 10 minutes with the lithium. If you prefer, you can spread it on a tray and refrigerate it to speed up the process. Add the romaine lettuce into the bowl. And then your beautiful tomatoes. If you don't have already on your available, you can replace it with the onion that you have inside your fridge. Wow, it's my luck day. Look what I have here. That's right, the gift from Mother Earth. Dressing time. As you can see, I'm not using a lot of sauce to dress the salad because I want to feel the flavor of the fresh ingredients. Blend with the sauce. Now, mix all of it. Just a matter of fact, everybody's talk about quinoa these days to be one of the world's most popular health foods. And I believe that quinoa is going to be the future of food. Why? Quinoa is also naturally gluten-free and it can be eaten safely if you have a gluten tolerance such as celiac disease. If you are a vegan, it's a high source of protein, vitamins and minerals. As you can see, there's a lot of reasons to include the quinoa into your diet. Transfer into a bowl or a plate, whatever you feel more comfortable to have. Let me tell you something. According to Harvard, quinoa is a type of edible seed that comes in various colors, including black, red, yellow, and white. The plant has been cultivated for about 5,000 years and is indigenous to the Andea region of South America, specifically Bolivia, Ecuador, Chile, and Peru. To finish, pinch chives to decorate our bowl. If you don't have it, don't worry, keep it simple. I believe that quinoa is a superfood in the world. 
Wow, it's so crunchy, this quinoa salad, and it has a hint of Italian spice. I think it has to do to the romaine lettuce and the balsamic vinegar. I love eating quinoa salad since the first time it was introduced to me a few years ago. There's so much that we can add to make this basic quinoa salad that I can't wait to show you more concoctions for the next shows. And by the way, this salad is a great alternative than having rice or bread. I hope you have enjoyed our show and the hours remember to cook with love.